In the heart of Madison County, North Carolina, is the location of a downtown Marshall, a small, quaint town that is wrapped in small-town love, traditionalism, as well as a new culture. This town is not well known to outsiders of western North Carolina, but it has a very impressive as well as important history. Madison County was formed in 1891 from Buncombe and Yancey counties. It was named from President James Madison. The county seat of Marshall, originally called Lapland, was named for U.S. Chief Justice John Marshall. Marshall was an important stop on the Buncombe Turnpike or Old Drover's Road. They used the turnpike to commute up and down the road that stretched from South Carolina to Tennessee to markets in the region. Thousands of drovers with their hogs, sheep, horses, mules, and turkeys passed through Marshall along the French Broad River each year. The history of Marshall is important because the town has overcame so many obstacles. In 1862, Union sympathizers and Confederate deserters raided the town of Marshall to get enough salt to survive the winter. This incident led to the Shelton Laurel Massacre, where on January 19, 1863, 15 men, ages 15 to 60, were rounded up. It was later determined only five of the 15 were involved in the Marshall Raid. The men were arrested and marched off. The remainder of the men that did not escape were executed by firing squad. The bodies were then placed in shallow graves. Downtown Marshall also has a deep history of numerous floods due to the location of being next to the French Broad River. What do you like most about Marshall? Is there any good experiences that you've come from being in Marshall? I went to school on an island. That was really awesome. It made me feel different and unique in the United States. You know, it was kind of like a, a danger risk. The teachers always had to, you know, make sure we didn't fall in the water and stuff. You know, like on the playground. Yeah, and we also had, we have a problem with floods, don't yeah. we? Yeah, a few times it got in the gym. Some of my youth league games were postponed and didn't really like that much. In 1889, William T. Weaver built Asheville's granite dam before building the dam at Marshall. This dam is helpful to slowing down the flooding process, but history has proven it has not stopped the waters after major rainstorms. Like the famous flood in March of 1902, where the Marshall Flood was reported in New York Times as the worst flood in the history of North Carolina to that date. Marshall and its people are strong, however. They are deeply rooted in that amazing history and culture. One aspect of Marshall is that it is known for its amazing natural scenery as well as beautiful buildings. The Madison County Courthouse, constructed in 1906, its two-story neoclassical revival brick structure is the heart of Marshall. It cost $30,000 to build at the time. The cupola, a four-stage polygonal tr structure, is one of the most impressive courthouse cupolas in North Carolina. The dominical roof bearing clocks on its alternate faces is capped by a lantern which serves as a pedestal for a statue of blind justice. The courthouse was built and framed by architect Richard Sharp Smith. Other historical structures in downtown Marshall include the Madison County Jail, that is over 100 years old, the eldest jail in North Carolina. Through various floods and natural deterioration, a new jail is currently in the building process in the neighboring city of Mars Hill. Religion is also important in many small towns, and Marshall is no exception. Four churches are located in downtown Marshall alone including the First Baptist Church of Marshall that just celebrated their 100th year anniversary, as well as Marshall Presbyterian Church that is known for loving church members, organizing community events, as well as the church structure itself with gorgeous stained glass windows. What downtown Marshall is known for today is its culture, of course, the townspeople and the various restaurants and shops. From small town businesses like that of Nationwide Insurance that the community never fails to drop by and say hello to the agent Cheryl Oimby, or the local paper titled The Sentinel that is located in two train boxcars as their building and offices. Unique restaurants of Zuma which was founded in 2003 as a small coffee shop that has now grown to be a coffee and food restaurant with a family friendly atmosphere that smells of coffee beans and has great local music on the weekends ranging from blues to bluegrass. If certain photographs look familiar, such as that of Bacchus Bistro, it is because this lively restaurant and store were once known as the Rock Cafe, a restaurant of famous meals to create the best in Southern comfort. 
the Rock Cafe, as well as the area of Marshall Railroad and Penlands and the French Broad River were locations featured in 1996 blockbuster film My Fellow Americans, a comedy starring Jack Lemmon, Dan Aykroyd, and James Gardner as feuding ex-presidents. Over the past few years, Marshall has grown to include more cultural events, including French Broad Fridays, where the community is welcome to parade around town in theme parties and experience what all Main Street has to offer. Another Friday tradition is that of the Marshall Depot, where you can enjoy traditional country, bluegrass, and mountain music while dancing and participating in cakewalks every Friday at 7 p.m. The depot is supported through donations and always offers entertainment, free small refreshments, and a smile to everyone that walks through the doors. Marshall now includes more artistic aspects with a couple of art gallery stores, the Good Stuff Store, which is known to sell all natural crafts and groceries, and to that of casual art designs on buildings or for sale on the sidewalks. With one walk down Main Street, anyone can see why Marshall is so important, not only in history, but to the community as a whole. From floods to art, Marshall is a strong, unique, and powerful city that is deeply rooted in pride. Are you proud to be a Marshall citizen? Oh yeah, I love being a Marshall citizen. And always will be.